We're now going to examine the elbow joint and the first thing to do is to inspect, look at the patient from the front and ask them to place their elbows out. And what we're looking for is a normal carrying angle. There's a slight valgus and this patient has normal carrying angles. We're then going to go through the movements of the elbow. So flexion first, ask the patients just to stand in front all the way, that's normal flexion with their palms pointing out to the top, extensions normal. Elbows in at the side with the hands pointing like that. We're going to supinate all the way out. That's a normal supination of 90 degrees. And then pronate all the way in. That's normal pronation. Perfect. We're then going to feel the elbow, turn the patient to the side. And if you look from behind, I can turn you around a little bit, there are some bony markers, the olecranon, the medial epicondyle, and the lateral epicondyle. And we just feel around, turn the patient around so you can see, and just palpate around. Lateral epicondylitis, tennis elbow, will be tender just here in front of the lateral epicondyle in the ERCB, the extensor carpi radialis brevis tendon. When if there's arthritis of the elbow joint, it will be tender just within the actual joint, just behind the lateral epicondyle and the olecranon. And then if we turn the elbow like this, tenderness just here on the medial epicondyle, maybe golfer's elbow. We're then going to do yeah. test for lateral epicondylitis, and this is Mill's test. So we ask the patient to extend their wrist against power, and if this increases the pain here on the lateral epicondyle, then this is a positive Mill's test signifying tennis elbow. And if you turn the hand round like that and ask the patient to flex at the wrist, if that causes pain on the inside, that's the test for golfer's elbow. That concludes the examination of the elbow joint.